With a bag full of winter coats and brand new boots, sisters Jan Carminati and Joanne Schneider stopped at the Taylor Rescue Building Monday. They were looking to help the victims of Sunday's blaze on South Pond Street. I went to school with a member of the family and uh, we keep in touch. I, high school was a long time ago, but we still do keep in touch. 42 year old Robert Graham didn't make it out of the burning home. He died in the blaze. Three other people were injured. They include 44 year old Karen Bertel, 44 year old Frank Jordan and five year old Gabrielle Jordan. Everybody is heartbroken, believe me, in the whole area. Old Forge, everybody wants to help. Two state police fire marshals returned to the scene Monday to try and pinpoint the fire's cause. The victim, Robert Graham, was not only the brother of the current fire chief, but was a former borough firefighter and ambulance volunteer himself. We talked to some neighbors who knew Robbie but didn't want to go on camera, but they say he was a great guy who would always be out shoveling the sidewalks for people and even mowing their grass if it was needed. Community leaders say they've received a number of calls from people looking to help the family. At this point, they say the best things would be a monetary donation or gas card donation or new clothing item. Donations can be dropped off at the Taylor Rescue Building on Union Street across from the borough building. Officials say if no one is at the firehouse, donations can be dropped in the secure mail slot. He watched the news every day and it happens everywhere across the northeast and uh, when it hits home, it, it is an eye opener.